Hi, I'm Karen McNeil, author of The Wine Bible and editor of Wine Speed. In honor of the 4th of July, I thought I'd share some information about America's first wine expert, Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson was the third president of the United States and the author of the Declaration of Independence. He was also an accomplished architect, scientist, musician, philosopher, scholar, farmer, and vintner, all in addition to being a politician. Born in Virginia in 1743, Jefferson was appointed ambassador to France at the age of 41, and he moved to Paris. There he became deeply impressed by the French, especially their love of food and wine. Jefferson became profoundly curious about viticulture, and he toured the wine regions of France, Germany, and Northern Italy while taking detailed notes. When he returned in 1789, he was zealously enthusiastic, convinced that in moderation, wine was an integral part of healthful living. Unfortunately, Jefferson's own attempts at growing vines and making wine repeatedly failed. Consuming grape wine was luckily easier than producing it. Not surprisingly, the White House cellar was amply stocked, especially with French wines during Jefferson's presidency. Indeed, Jefferson personally spent many thousands of dollars on wine, a feat given what wine cost in 1800. No president since Jefferson has ever taken such a profound interest in wine. The White House cellar, however, remains well stocked today, mostly with American wines.